Don't you find it strange that most kids living on this island with perfect surfing conditions are not able to surf or even get the chance to try? I've always been interested in surfing and I've always felt a connection to the ocean. I was very lucky to have the time, resources and possibility to go surfing. Surfing really helps me. I could be having a bad day, go surfing and feel this connection to the ocean that's so calming. I think most surfers can relate to this feeling, but I wanted to share it with many more. I did some research and found out that there are about 90 orphanages spread around Bali. In these orphanages, there are about 1,200 kids living. These kids will most likely never get a chance to try surfing. And if you think about it, surfing could potentially, potentially change their life as having the knowledge, skill, and on knowing how to surf opens up so many opportunities. For example, they could become surf teachers or even progress further into surfing. Surfing gives them not just a job, it gives them a healthy way of life. I was looking at the SDGs for inspiration for my quest, and I chose SDG 10, Reduced Inequalities. I thought this SDG would be a better fitting option than the other, because even though these kids live in an orphanage, it doesn't change their skill in surfing or any other sport. We could compare a wealthy kid that has never surfed before and a kid that lives in an orphanage that's also never surfed before. They would most likely learn equally fast. And by giving these kids a chance to experience surfing, I aim to reduce one inequality and share my love for surfing with them. In the early 1970s, during the Vietnam War, veterans used the power of waves to heal, as a lot of veterans suffered from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Surfing makes you focus on something else, leaving the traumatic and depressing thoughts behind. According to a specific surf therapy program, surfing helps with self-esteem and also reduces social isolation. Surfing doesn't just help you physically, it makes you mentally stronger too. Surfing therapy is real. My project, Surfing Waves of Change, is about gathering enough money to take an orphanage to the beach with surf coaches and surfboards. We were gonna let them connect with the ocean and show them how surfing is not like any other sport. It's an exercise for your body and a time for your mind to rest. Now, I just had to do it. First of all, I had to gather money. I did a calculation on how much money I would need for drivers, surf coaches, and board rentals. I started with setting up a GoFundMe. I then talked to Made. He owns a restaurant at the beach, where, and I asked him about putting up a second-hand surf gear shop where I could be selling my old surf gear. Together, these methods will help me gather enough money to take an orphanage surfing. And in the end, I managed to collect seven juta. I was looking for a community and found Panti Ashwan Salam. They're an orphanage in Tabanan. I met up with them and pitched my idea to them. The children's eyes lit up when I showed them the waves and how there would be surf coaches. They loved it. So we decided on the 21st of May. But there was a problem. None of the kids could swim, nor did they have swimwear. So we had to invest some of our money towards buying life jackets and board shorts for the kids. I had arranged drivers that could pick the kids up and take them back. When they arrived at the beach, we handed out life jackets and swimwear for each kid. We served for about two hours. The coaches took great care of the kids. I could surf out, I could surf and help out a bit in the water and also be at the beach helping the ones that can came in. And as soon as one came out, another one wanted to go in. After the surf session, they, I asked them if they all had a good time, and it was to no surprise they all said yes. They were really tired and hungry, so we went up to the, one of the local warungs and bought all of them food. After eating, the drivers took them back to the orphanage. One of the challenging aspects of my idea was the concept of my idea. 
In the beginning, I'd planned on collecting and repairing surfboards to local kids, but soon realized that local kids that lived close to the beach already had surfboards, and local kids that lived further away from the beach, surfing wouldn't happen even if they got aboard. So by talking to Dylan at the Varuna Surf Shop, he gave me the idea to introduce some kids to surfing by a beach day, and I thought it would be a nice thing for an orphanage. Another challenge was that I didn't know if the kids were going to be scared in the water. But luckily, the coaches had a lot of experience with kids and knew that swimming skills could differ among local kids. Not only was it a great day at the beach with the kids, the surf coaches also felt it was such a nice thing to do that they wanted to do it again as a charity thing for the community. Now when I've done it, I think it'd be much easier to do it again. And I'm actually planning on doing it this next autumn. Bridging the gap to the ocean by giving these kids a chance to experience surfing, hear the call of the waves, and finding a connection to the ocean was an equally positive experience for me as it was for the kids. I would like to thank Made at O3 for letting me put up a shop in his restaurant, Made, my driver, for ta driving the orphanage, Gusti, the manager, of the orphanage for trusting my idea, friends for donating, Dylan for the great ideas, and also my mom and dad for helping me throughout Quest. Thank you.